Hello, Lisette, Wendy, Amanda. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Good evening, Richard, teacher. Good evening. Good to see you. We will wait a moment for your classmates to come and then we will check the, the homework. But tell me, Amanda, what is your favorite hobby? What do you like to do in your free time? A favorite, excuse me, I, I didn't hear. Favorite, uh, I didn't hear, teacher. Your favorite hobby. Ah, <laughs> favorite hobby. Yes. Um, yes, I think I, I really like uh, see movies or series in Netflix. And I like to um, do exercise. And and exercise. <laughs> and sleep. <laughs> you have very cool hobbies which yes. series are you watching on netflix uh, i i saw um the kingos la como se dice la la ley de los audaces en inglés como se dice suits ah sweet suits suits uh -huh. suits uh -huh. It's a good one. I, I liked that movie. I'm sorry, Syria. Syria, but it's very long. Yes, like eight seasons or nine seasons. Yes. And then I see movies too. And movies. Yes. Mm -hmm. How many platforms do you have? Do you have just Netflix or do you have other ones? Uh, no, just Netflix and and TV cable. and the, the normal normal cable normal ca cable yes mm -hmm. oh, okay Amanda that sounds cool let's listen to Vane Ramirez what about you Vane what is your favorite hobby okay teacher good evening good evening uh, my favorite hobby is uh -huh is go go is swim swim swimming swim. mm -hmm. swim. and watch watch tv and different different series or movies tv shows mm -hmm. and movies. for example for example my favorite series is chernobyl chernobyl the, yeah is the history the of, of accident nuclear a nuclear in accident a uh -huh. nuclear accident in Ukraine it's the first time I hear that TV show where uh, are you watching it on uh, on Netflix or on the normal cable is at HBO Ah, on HBO. The platform or the channel? Uh, uh, platform. The platform. Ah, okay. HBO. In so, Netflix, in Netflix uh, how do you say Betty La Fea? <laughs> Betty La Fea. That's the, the name it has in, in English. Okay. It's, it's a Mexican, like mm, a no. soap opera, right? Colombiana. Ah, okay, Colombian. Aha, uh -huh, you can say Betty La Fea. Or ugly yeah. Betty, but I will say Betty La Fea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, okay, Pane. That sounds cool. Thank you for telling us okay. a little bit. So, guys, who didn't read the, the article yesterday? Hay alguien acá que no leyó ayer el artículo. Ah, uh, me. You, me. Vane. And yeah. who else? Anna? Anna tampoco, right? You didn't, Anna. The one about <laughs> Mr. Miller. No, right? I'm missing Vane Rivera, but she's not here. Neither Tati. Tati's not here. Okay, so let's listen to Anna and, and Vane, Vane Ramirez. Is there somebody else? Am I missing somebody else? Hay alguien más? 
que se nos haya quedado? No. Okay, so let me just share with you the screen. And let me just modify this so you can see it. Okay, we will Teacher, start with you. Uh, uh -huh. We yes, read uh, uh, we read the past article. Uh -huh. In okay. 30 seconds or less. Okay. We will start with you, Anna. Ready? Uh, I tried it. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, start, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes. I am an English teacher and I have a big family. So I have a very busy daily routine. I first, I get up every day at six o'clock, get washing and dresses and leave for work. By 7.30, I get to school at eight o'clock. I prepare my lesson and teach you until noon. Uh, the Good other thing. teacher, Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Ah, it's okay. You have to continue like one more line, but it's okay, Anna. You did very well. Good pronunciation and fluency. So thank you very much. Now, Vane Ramirez. Thank you. Ready, Vane? Okay, teacher. Okay. Uh, um, okay, okay. Uh, I am an English teacher and I, ha I have a big family. So I have a very busy daily routine. First, I get up every day at six o'clock, get washed and dressed and leave for work by 7.30. I get to school at eight o'clock. I prepare my lessons and, and then teach until noon. The other teachers and I always eat lunch and talk to her in the teacher's room. Okay, Vane, thank you very much. Your time was 34 seconds. You have to do it in 30 seconds, but it was very close to it. So thank you, Vane and Anna. Thank then you, we are missing Tati and uh, Vane Rivera, but they are not here yet, right? Okay, well, in that case, let's continue and we will have the next activity. We will practice verbs, right? I'm going to tell you the verb in the base form and you have to tell me the past participle form, okay? I will tell you the base form. You tell me the past participle form. Okay, let's begin with open. Okay, open. Monica, what is the past participle form? Are you there, Monica? No? Mm, no lo sé, teacher. You don't? Okay, no, no problem. And you, Lisette, do you know the base, the past participle form open? Uh, agregamos ed. Ed at the end? Uh -huh. Thank you. So it will be open. That's the one. Thank you, Lisette. Now let's continue with Mario. Hi, Mario. Let's continue with love. Past participle form. I don't. You don't love. remember. Love. Uh huh. That's the one. Love. Okay, Mario. Thank you. Okay. Angelica. Swim, past participle form. Angelica, do you hear me? Yes, it's you. Mm -hmm. mm. Swam. Swam, that is the past tense. It's, it's mm. different. No, I don't know. Okay, 
And you, Hazel, do you know the past participle form? No, I don't know. No. Catherine, do you? I don't know. No, who knows? Is there somebody who remembers? Swim, swam, and? Swim. That's the one, Mario. Thank you. It is swam. That's past participle. Now let's continue with Wendy. Okay, Wendy, what about go? Past participle form? It's gone. Gone, that's right. Thank you. Now let's continue with Anna. Make. Make, uh, make made. Oh, uh, I don't remember, teacher. I don't the, know, is it the same made? Made, yes, that's the one, Anna. Mm -hmm. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Now let's continue with uh, Vane Ramirez. Okay, Vane. Watch. Past participle form. What? I'm sorry, Lisette. Sorry, uh, what? Watch. Yes, with ED. Thank you, Lisa. Are you there, Vane Ramirez? I guess not. Okay. Guillermo, do you know the past participle form of the verb put? It's good too. Mm -hmm. Good. It's the same. Thank you. Okay, so guys. In present perfect, is essential that you know the verbs in the past participle form. I noticed that Anna sent a list yesterday in the group. It will be a very good idea that you review, you review verbs because you will need them a lot when you use present perfect. We had a homework assignment, right? Before we check the homework assignment, I want to share this with you. Yesterday we study the present perfect structure, right? We study how to use present perfect. And here we have it. There are two auxiliaries. You have two auxiliaries. And we always use the past participle form. Okay? So here we have it. Okay, now Hazel, can you read this part, please? Yes. I have eaten an apple. You have eaten an apple. Apple. Apple, okay. Mm -hmm. We have eaten an apple. They have eaten an apple. Thank you very much. Okay, so that's the one we use with I, you, we, and they. And then we have the special one that we use for singular nouns. The exception is I, but when you only have one person, we have to use has. Catherine, could you read the second chart, please? Okay. He has eaten An apple, she has eaten an apple, it has eaten an apple, and John has eaten an apple. Thank you. Eaten, eaten an apple. Okay, Catherine. Thank you. If you want to make the sentence negative, include the word not, right? Have not or has not to make it negative. Contraction, you can use hasn't or haven't, okay? This is what we studied yesterday. Este es un pequeño repaso de lo que veíamos ayer sobre la estructura. Is there a question? Is there something you would like to ask about the question, about the, the review? No? No, teacher. No questions. Okay. Now let's check 
the, the homework, we will check at least, oops, a part of it. You can take your notes out, we will check them. Okay, sentence number one. Okay, and just to clarify, this, this exercise contains sentences in past tense, simple past and present perfect. But since we are just practicing past perfect, I'm sorry, present perfect, that's the only one we will use. Solo quería aclarar, verdad, de que este ejercicio contenía unas oraciones que utilizaban simple past. Pero debido a que solo vamos a enfocarnos en la estructura de present perfect, por eso vamos a utilizar present perfect en todas. Pero no porque ese sea el correcto siempre, solo porque estamos practicando structure. Ana, do you have a comment or you, Vane? No. No, no, teacher. Ah, teacher. Okay, so let's review it. Let's begin with Wendy. Wendy, can you help us with number one? Number one, I have seen the twins in down last week. Thank you, Wendy. Correct, that will be the structure. Number two, Vane Ramirez. A question, Vane. Okay, teacher. Ha. Have you ever met Have her you brother? Ever met mm -hmm. her brother? Met. Okay, thank you, okay. Vane. Monica, okay. number three. Where have you been? Where have you been? Thank you. That will be the one. Thank you, Monica. Marlon. Number four. Good evening. Good evening, Marlon. Uh, have you seen Kathleen? Correct. Thank you, Marlon. Mario, number five. We haven't gone on holiday last year. Thank you, exactly. We haven't gone. Lisette, number six. I love clothes. I have bought a lot this year. Yes, thank you, Lisette. I have bought. Okay. Now, Catherine, number seven. What had you bought last weekend? What have you done? Done last weekend. Thank you, Catherine. Hazel, okay. number eight. Yes. Dad has repaired the car. You can use it now. Thank you. Correct. Has repaired. Thank you, Hazel. Guillermo, number nine. Yes, yes Lisa. En la siete es don o es did. It will be no did, es lo ambos. que, no se pueden usar ambos. Debería de ser, what did you do? What did you do? Pero como les mencionaba, Lizette, estamos solo practicando la estructura de present perfect, por eso la hemos puesto. No porque no sería la apropiada. Tendría que ser con did. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lizette. Ok, um, Guillermo, number nine. Agatha Christie has lived uh, from 1890 to 1860. Uh, Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Now let's continue with Angelica. Number 10. Granny still hasn't found her glasses. Still hasn't found. Okay, correct. Thank you very much, Angelica. That's the one. Okay, now Anna, number 11. Um, 11. Where have you been? No, where have you bought laptop? Have you bought? That's the one. Thank you, Anna. Correct. 
Okay. okay. Wendy, 12. You had eight. The kitchen, mm. I like to call them. Thank you, Wendy, correct. Okay, are there any questions for me in this moment? Questions or comments? No? Okay, I'm going to clear everything here and I'm going to scroll down. Number 14, Vane Ramirez. I'm sorry, number 13. Uh, teacher, what number? 13, one and three. Ah, what time have you gotten? Have you gotten or got? It's the other possibility. Thank you, Vane. Monica, 14, what would be the answer? You don't. Okay. And you, Marlon, do you have it? Um, no, teacher. No. Okay. Let me help you. This is an object. Is it singular or plural? Letter. Singular or plural? Singular. singular. Uh -huh. So we have to use has and now the verb. But in the it, past participle. Uh-huh. Arrived. Arrived. Yes. Arrived. Correct. Because sometimes you are not going to have subjects, you're going to have and uh, you're going to have objects too. Okay, thank you guys. Now number 16, Lisette. I finish. I have finished. Finished. Worked early. Great job, Lisette. Thank you. Now let's listen to Mario. Number 17, Mario. Sue is not here. She hasn't went out. She hasn't gone in, in this case. Gone? Okay. Gone out. Thank you, Mario. Okay, Catherine, 18. Mm, the weather. Mm -hmm. uh, has been very good last week. In the negative has, form? Uh -huh. Has not. Uh -huh. Has not or hasn't. You can use the contraction. And then been. Yes, Catherine. Okay, thank you. Hazel, 19. We have been uh, to the cinema twice this month. Perfect. Thank you, Hazel. And Guillermo, number 20. Uh, Brian has lived in England until the age of 14. Okay, thank you. That's correct. Okay, so that is the structure, right? But now we will talk about the use, the use of present perfect. Present perfect has three different uses. Amanda, do you have a question or a comment? Uh, yes, I have a question about the yes, um, uh, last um, uh, sentences the because last I don't, sentence. I don't, I didn't understand the, um, uh, the reason that a sentence is negative. Like, uh, ¿cuál era? Eighteen. Susi, le dije siete. Oh, ¿Cómo se traduce eh. esa oración? Como que su, su no está acá. Ella ha salido. Ah, es que se tradujo como she eh, hasn't gone. Ella no se ha ido. Really? Puse uh, eh, la negativa. 
Ah, ok, sí, la sorry. <laughs> ok, sí, my bye. bad. <laughs> Me equivoqué. But yeah, it will be in the plural. I'm sorry, in the affirmative form, Amanda. Affirmative form, ok. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ok, Thank so you, you're welcome, Amanda. And I'm sorry about the confusion. Ok, so present perfect. It has about three uses, but today we will study one. Tiene como tres diferentes usos que son bastante distintos. Vamos a ver ahora uno, ¿ok? When an activity started in the past and it continues in the present. Okay, you started the activity in the past, but the activity continues, it's in progress now in the present. Let's imagine this. Okay, we have the timeline. <clears throat> this is the present. And one activity started here in the past. Okay, past. And let's say here. One activity, it could be this activity, your English classes with me. This activity started in the past. It began in January. I think it was January 20, January 17. I think it was on January 17. Okay, so we can say it here. The activity began or started on January 17th. And in the present, it continues. The English class is still in progress. I can say, we have studied English. since January 17th. I'm using present perfect because the activity started in the past, but is not over yet. It hasn't uh, finished, it's not over, it's not completed yet. Or you can say, okay, I, Okay, study in the university. Anna, you study in the university, right? Yes, teacher. When did you start? Which year? Last year or 2019? Uh, I beginning mm -hmm. this year and uh, oh, this January year. 17th. Too. Really? Oh, okay. yes. So yes. we can say Anna has studied in the university for four weeks. I'm going to teach you how to use for and since, okay, in one moment. But I want you to see that my activity or your activity started in the past, but it's in progress, okay? Just to make sure. Vamos a utilizar present perfect cuando ustedes quieran expresar o quieran indicar que una actividad comenzó en el pasado o inició en el pasado, pero no ha terminado, todavía está en progreso. Here we have two. Two sentences. Hay dos actividades, ¿verdad? Que comenzaron en el pasado. Y con este time word que ponemos al final, estamos indicando eso, ¿verdad? De que ya había comenzado en el pasado, pero que aún está in progress. I can say, okay, mm, Mario, where do you work? Where do you work, Mario? What is the name of the company? 
Are you there, Mario? Hi. Mm -hmm. Where do you work? It's a personal. Ah, it's a personal company. Yes. Ah, okay. All right. And when did you start? Mm -hmm. February 1st, uh, 2003. Mm, wow, for a long time. Okay. Yes. So I can say Mario has had his own company since you said February, right? Yes. 2003. Am I correct? Yes. Okay, thank you, Mario. Thank you. So what I want to indicate is that he, he began working on his own company in the past, but this activity continues. It's still in progress, okay? Like you see it here, It's it continues. Do you understand the definition? Do you understand the use? Entienden este uso or not yet? Yes, teacher. You do, Ana. Okay. Eh, Can you, Mario? Creo que uh -huh. la dificultad es en los verbos irregulares, que tienen tres diferentes <laughs> formas. Ah, so, uh, uh, yes, yes, that is difficult yes. y no hay atajo. Hay que aprendérselos, Exacto. memorizárselos. Sí. Ok, and you, Amanda, did you have a comment? No, teacher, I no. understand. Ok. Oh. Can you tell me one activity, guys, that you started in the past and it continues in the present? Podrían utilizar present perfect y comentarme una actividad que inició en el pasado, pero todavía está siendo llevada a cabo, please. Oh, and before you continue, I will tell you about for and since. Para expresar eso, ¿verdad? Que una actividad comenzó en el pasado, Pueden utilizar dos preposiciones. Bueno, hay tres. There are three prepositions or time words. Number one, for. You have to use for to talk about amount of time or quantity. For se utiliza para indicar cantidad de tiempo. You can say for one year two hours, three days, a long, a long time, etc. You express quantity of time. I have had Netflix for, and I have to mention quantity of time, for seven years. I have had Netflix for seven years. I have worked here for one year. Okay, quantity of time. Preposition for. Okay. Number two, since. That's another option. Pueden utilizar también la opción since. We have two, there are two, since and ever since, since or ever since, they are the same, son lo mismo, el mismo significado, same meaning. What is the difference? ¿Cuál es la diferencia? The, the grammar use, since is used with the well, with dates, I will tell you more in, in a moment. And this one goes with moments, actions, sentence, or sentences. We have to use them when you talk about the starting time of the activity. 
the starting time or the moment it began. Con since or ever since, ustedes van a expresar el momento en el que inició su activity. For example, and remember, this one goes with dates. I can say February 2001. Mm, I can say uh, last Monday, okay, etc. Dates, fechas, and ever since is the same. Ever since es lo mismo, pero ahora no va a ser una date, una fecha, sino que va a ser una sentence. ¿Qué quiere decir? Que va a llevar subject, verb, and complement. I'm going to give you examples. Okay. I have had Netflix for seven years. Or I have had Netflix, Netflix scenes. And I have to mention the date. To, we are in 2022, seven years. Okay. Since 2015, okay, I use dates, numbers, okay, or you can use ever since. I have had Netflix ever since, and now I have to mention the moment, ever since my mom, my mom, bought me a tablet, okay? I'm describing, I'm describing the moment it began, okay? Ahora estoy describiendo cuando comenzó, pero no con fecha, sino con acciones o actos, okay? Y ahí pueden ver todos los elementos. Subject, my mom, verb, aquí es el verb in past tense, bought, Y el complement, it's over here, bought me a tablet, okay? okay? Siempre es el momento en el que empezó, pero ya no va con una fecha, sino con una acción. The same here, I have worked here for one year. Option number two, I have worked here since February 2000. 20, okay? Date. I mentioned the month and the year. Or I can say February 17, 2021. The date. Or I can use ever since, but I mentioned the moment. I have worked here ever since I, I got the a job, okay? Ever since I got the job. I'm describing the activity, the moment it began, but with a moment, okay? Those are options you have. Para recapitular, hay diferentes palabras que expresan tiempo que podrían utilizar. Está for, ¿verdad? Que mencionábamos que se utiliza con cantidad de tiempo. Y mencionan cuánto tiempo han hecho algo. Luego está since o su equivalente ever since, que se utilizan para mencionar cuándo comenzaron la actividad. Utilizamos since cuando son fechas, así como acá, February 20, I'm sorry, 2001, last Monday, last week, okay, dates, o pueden utilizar ever since. But this one goes with activities. En esta van a expresar con momentos cuando inició su activity. Okay. By the way, por cierto, si ustedes quieren, pueden omitir la palabra ever y utilizar su forma corta since. That it's okay. Si quieren, solo utilizan since porque es la forma corta de ever since. Lo podemos omitir. It can be omitted, okay? I just wanted to tell you that. Les quería mencionar eso para que agreguen una de estas, okay? One of those options inside or in your sentence. Traten de agregar una en, en su ejemplo, okay? Let me know when you have it. 
Me avisan cuando lo tengan para que veamos cómo les quedó. Ana. Activate the microphone, Ana. Thank you, Guillermo. Your sentence is also correct. You are using the continuous form, present perfect continuous, but it's also correct. Mm -hmm. And then Hazel, the same, your sentence is perfect. So you began last year, like about three months ago, Hazel. Before that, you didn't study English. Antes de diciembre, Hazel, no estudiaba inglés. You didn't study English. No. No. Wow, you have learned a lot very fast. Aprendido bien rápido. In three months, you know a lot. Do you study extra? Estudia parte de sus clases y de platform. No, no solo lo que estudié en el colegio. Ah, okay. And you understand a lot, right? También su listening está bastante bien. Okay, Hazel, thank you. Thank you. But yes, it is correct. Marlon, correct too, good job. And then Mario. Thank you, Mario. You use all the options and they are all correct. You know, there is only one, one change. I have played basketball since my son played with Edie, with his. Sí, eso, eso tuve duda. <laughs> uh -huh. Just change it to past tense, but okay. uh -huh. You are using all the options correctly. Okay, thank thank you. you. And then Monica, you have studied gast gastronomy since January 2021. Okay, correct. Monica, just the verb. Solo vamos a cambiar el verbo que tendría que ir así, Monica. But it will be perfect. And gastronomy. It will be like that. And then Anna, you played the guitar, wow, for about almost 20 years, right? Okay, since your mom died, the moment it began. Okay, Anna, and just change the verb. Vamos a ponerle una D al final, die, porque es una past activity. And then, hey, okay. I have had my number, my phone number, Heidi. I have had my phone number for 14 years. Okay, that's a long time. Correct, Heidi. Wendy, it is perfect too. You work at TELUS. What is your profession, Wendy? What do you do? Do you work mm -hmm. in customer service or in a service. different? Customer service, Spanish yes. or in bilingual? Spanish. In Spanish, and you want to change. <laughs> Quiere pasar a la de Spanish, a la de inglés. I yes. imagine. <laughs> I imagine. Okay. One day. <laughs> yes, one day it will be possible. Thank, Thank you, you, Wendy. 
And then Angelica, you've had your cat ever since your brother brought, brought it to me. Thank you, Angelica, correct. Okay, well, a big applause to all of you. You got the idea, huh? That's the way we use it. Now let's apply it. If you haven't sent your sentence, you can send it here or send it to me by WhatsApp, okay? Si no la han enviado, me la pueden enviar por WhatsApp. Okay, what are we going to do? We will have role plays. Ahora vamos a hacer pequeños role plays. You have to talk to your friends and you have to talk about different things you are doing, okay? Van a hacer unas conversaciones en las que platican sobre cosas que han estado haciendo, okay? Pueden mezclar tiempos, ¿verdad? Pueden usar past tense, present tense, present perfect. That's the one that I want to see the way you, you'll use it, okay? Entonces, los voy a dejar ahí a, que, a sus ideas, ¿verdad? Para que lo hagan. Les voy a dar un ejemplo. I'll give you an idea. Okay. With me. Voy a hacer un, un dialogue, un diálogo solo conmigo misma. Okay, so, hello, Evelyn. How are you? I'm fine. What about you? Okay. I'm doing well. Uh, what can you tell me about you? Okay, then, well, I have, I have done many things recently. For example, I have worked in a new project for seven months. Okay, and what is the project about? And then you continue. You have to mix, you have to mix tenses. Van a tener que, que combinar diferentes tiempos, pero aunque sea un poquito de present perfect, quiero ver, okay? Traten de aplicarlo ya en una conversation. We will work in groups of three. Les voy a dar suficiente tiempo y mañana vamos a estar presentando los role plays. Do you have any questions before I, I split you up? No sé si tienen alguna pregunta. Antes que lo separe. Yes, Ana? teacher. Uh -huh. I have a question. Uh, we write the, the conversation. Mm, yes, if you need. Oh, yes. Only practice. Ajá. Uh -huh. It would be better if it's natural. Sería mucho mejor si okay. lo tratan de hacer improvisado, ¿verdad? Solo que medio okay. hablen de, de qué van a decir y luego, pues, ahí improvisado. Pero si quieren tomar pequeñas notas para guiarse, you can also do it. All right, guys. So please accept the invite. And if you need me, I'll go to your room. You know what? Let me let me change something here. And okay. I will make some changes, sorry. Okay. Okay, now it's ready.
El, perdón, ¿qué, qué, ¿qué contestó, Mónica? No, se le voy a cambiar la, la respuesta. Sería, I am a greeting. Hi, Ana, Amanda, and Mónica. Do you need Hi. any help? Do you have questions for me? Uh, I have a question, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, we, for example, in the past uh, participle, uh -huh. uh, 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 the verb had is the past participle how. Mm -hmm. Is correct? Yes. But, it's like I but, had. Uh -huh. But for example, it's a question. Uh, uh, I I can say I I have played. It's not necessary. I have I add the had. Yes, yes, it would be necessary because with um, I don't know if I understand well the question, Anna. You are asking if you need to include have, right? Have, have, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Because uh -huh. have number one is the auxiliary. And have uh -huh. number two is the verb in the past okay. participle form. So, uh, yes. Okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. This You're is welcome. my question. Okay. And you and Amanda or Monica? No. No, no teacher. Okay, in about three minutes, we will return, okay, to the other session, okay, because we are almost, we're running out of time. So in about three minutes, I'll send you back. Okay, see you in one moment. Okay. Goodbye. Y el otro le podría responder como... Hi, sorry to Hi. interrupt. Hazel or Guillermo, do you have questions for me? Do you need help? Uh, well, uh, we need to create a conversation, uh, like the, the chat feature. It's, it's okay, or we need to put more, more things with the person, person perfect. Can you repeat, Guillermo, please? Yeah, uh, in the conversation, we need to use more the person perfect. Uh, if you want, you can see the chat. Uh, in the uh, chat, we create a little conversation. Uh, ah, with, but I don't see it because, because I was not in the room, so I cannot see the messages you sent. You have oh, to sorry. send it if, again. If you want, I can read this. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, we start the conversation uh, with the, the more simple. Uh, hi. Mm -hmm. um, what did you do the last week? And she said, uh, I was in the beach with my family and you. Um, well, I, I answered. I stayed at home playing video games and I had been playing God of War with my friends. That's all right. Or we need to put more, more statements in present perfect. It's going well. It sounds natural. If you think that you can add something else with present perfect, you can do it. If not, you can switch and use a different tense, such as simple present or simple past. If it's possible, oh, okay. yes, okay. use present perfect. But if not, just combine it with present tense or past tense. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you guys didn't finish, or can you improvise the, the last part? How do you feel? Yeah, we, we can improvise that or, <laughs> so, so. or no. <laughs> okay. Uh, if not, let's go back to the other room. I'm going to talk to your classmates. And if you need more time, maybe I can spare maybe like four or five more minutes tomorrow. If not, we will do it okay. tomorrow. Okay. So let's return. Hi everyone, is there any pair who finished? Did any of you finish the conversation or you couldn't? Hay algún grupo o pareja que sí haya terminado la conversation?
Nothing. No. Sure. No. We, okay. we didn't. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to give you more time tomorrow. Okay, I'll give you a little bit more time tomorrow so you can finish the last part and then you can present. You can present the conversation. Okay, we will continue the activity tomorrow. We will finish the class in this moment. Do you have any questions before I let you go? No. no. I don't have questions. No, not teacher. Everything is clear. Okay, guys, in that case, I'm going to let you go. Have a good night. See you good tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.